I'd have to say uh, being valedictorian is a big thing for me. I worked really hard for that all four years. Um, I would definitely encourage everyone to try their hardest for that. Um, and probably lettering in soccer all four years, being able to start every single year of high school, especially freshman year, was a big deal for me. Uh, my name is Emily Sword. I've been in choir for the past four years of my high school experience. I also was in theater, and my freshman year I was on the bowling team. My greatest accomplishment in high school is definitely being All-State, preseason uh, pre All-State and postseason All-State um, in football and, lead, and bringing back Lebanon in football. Uh, my name is Trent Mitchell, uh, senior class president. Hi, um, I'm Ethan Doris. Um, probably experiences in high school, um, just mainly just involved in theater, um, mainly, and uh, doing plays throughout my high school career. Well, I'm, I'm Nate Winfrey. Uh, I'm a senior. Uh, I played football all four years in high school, did a little bit of choir, and I was even in book club for the last year and a half. Um, my name is Elena Walsh. I'm 17 years old, and I was involved with volleyball and HOSA all four years of high school. My experience in high school have been kind of up and down, really, like losing friends and gaining friends, like learning how to trust people, things like that. My greatest accomplish accomplishments during high school was probably our uh, choir um, program excelling throughout the, the two years Ms. Fitzgerald's been here and just continuously getting superior in many, many competitions. My greatest accomplishment throughout these past four years probably has been all of the musicals every single year, uh, especially last year or this year's uh, Little Shop Before. It was so fantastic. So. Um, my greatest accomplishments during high school would probably be winning districts back to back my junior and senior year for volleyball and being able to go to substate senior year. I would have to say whenever we went eight and two this year for our for the record for football because it's the best that we've had since my dad was in school, which was about 91. And that felt really good to know that I was a part of helping that become become a reality and that we were able to bring that kind of pride back to Lebanon. What would I have done differently in high school? Probably got out of my shell more and like actually talk to people instead of just being quiet most days. I honestly probably would have taken like an auto class or like one of the ag classes or even the Blue Devil News class just to like kind of shape my world a little bit more instead of focusing just on all the APs. I wouldn't say do over, but like go back and change one or two things like the friends that I have, the friends that I chose freshman year, like they got me down the wrong path a little bit, but I, I got back on the right path. I would have paid more attention to class my freshman and sophomore year because, you know, I thought, well, hey, I'm just a freshman. I didn't, I don't really have to do, really pay attention to that, but it helps if you do because it can bump up that GPA really quick and really fast. And if you stay on top of it, it'll just keep growing. And eventually you could be at one of those pictures in the hallway with a 4.0 GPA. Try new things and step a little bit more outside of my comfort zone than I would. Um, but I feel that I've made some pretty solid decisions throughout high school that have led me into a path. If I had to do anything differently, I probably would have gotten um, a little bit more involved, but not too much to where I couldn't handle everything that I was doing at one time. Actually, like, trying out for clubs and stuff like that because I didn't do a whole lot of that stuff until senior year. So join a, join a sports team, join a club, uh, take AP classes, just do something that will help you step to make you like step out of the crowd and what will make you different than everybody else. The tough decision I had to make is stepping away from some people that I've been friends with for years because they wanted to do different things that I had, had in mind, like going to college and playing football, going to college and getting a degree, stuff like that. Probably where I decided to go to school, which was Emory University, I spent a lot of time with Ms. Frazier. Um, I worked all four years to get into a good school, and then when I didn't get into the school I wanted, it was then a matter of like where should I go and that was really hard for me and something that I couldn't have done like by myself. Maybe doing theater in the first place I think was um, a big thing for me early on uh, especially with taking AP classes and honors um, and I was worried if I was gonna be able to juggle it um, but I, I did and I'm glad that I decided to get involved into it. It was whether or not to take AP classes because I've 
growing up, I didn't have the greatest grades, but I knew I was I knew I was smart enough to be able to handle it. So I it took me a while to say yes to doing it, but I'm glad I did because it challenges me a little bit more. In football, you're taught how to handle adversity and how to overcome things that don't necessarily go your way, and that's how life is going to be. Get involved. It definitely shaped my high school career. It helped me create all of the friends that I have, and it kept me busy throughout high school instead of just sitting at home and watching Netflix. Choose your friends wisely, and the friends that you did you think are your friends now are not going to be your friends with your senior year or junior year. Everybody's going to change on you. Don't change. Just get, be the same person as you've always been. You don't hesitate to do something. Uh, it's really good to uh, just try something and uh, learn from the results no matter what happens. Don't be afraid to get involved because it, it looks really good on a college application. If you're just going through high school, just doing your normal thing, I mean, yeah, that's cool, but colleges like to see what makes you pop out. And, like, if you have, like, a leadership role in one of the clubs here or just being outstanding at something, that can really help. I would tell you to find something that makes you happy in each day or each thing that you do in order to have the most uh, positive experience in high school. Be open-minded when you come in and to start, um, like, really trying your freshman and sophomore year because that GPA average is kind of um, the base for all four of your years. Being confident in yourself just to be able to get out and actually talk to people um, instead of um, just staying in your own little corner, definitely branch out a bit. I think LHS has been one of the best things for me out of the past four years. Um, the teachers here are fantastic. Um, the AP classes I've taken were rigorous, especially Mr. Wilson's classes. Um, they really help you get an idea of what college is going to be like. And being in all the clubs, it really prepares you for like that busy college life. Uh -huh.